Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. <clears throat> In this tutorial we're going to be talking about constructors. Now sometimes when you have a class and uh, you want to add what's called a constructor and what this does is it initializes values for that class. So let's say we want to make a new person. I want to uh, individually set their weight, money, income, and name. Um, by what we want it to be and not just by using the default. So what we can do, how we can do this is to use a constructor. Now even though these variables are private we can still access them using a constructor. So to create one we're just going to type sub new. And now what we need to do is we need to buy val weight money income and name. So weight as double or let's just do W as double uh, by val M as double. Now M and W aren't very good to use for um, names to be passed to our constructor because if somebody's trying to create a new person and they look at the arguments for the constructor and they see what is W and what is M, they're not going to know what that is. I'm just going to use these in the tutorial. So I as double and by val n as string. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to set each one of these variables. So weight equals w, money equals m, income equals i, and name equals n. So whenever a new person object is created, it's going to be required for them to use uh, to pass these different data types to the constructor. Now what you can also do is use uh, optional which we learned about using in functions and this can also be used with constructors. So we'll come back to form1.vb and you can see that we get an error for my default person. So for the argument for the constructor we're just going to add two parentheses. Now inside of this we're going to need the weight so let's just go ahead and set this to, uh, let's say the person is going to be 150 pounds. Uh, their money will give them $500. Uh, their income, we'll pay them $20 an hour. And the name to default person. Okay, so now we've created this person and we've set all the, the values that are needed for the person to work. So now let's come down here and we will... Uh, add the person. So let's just uh, use some default values for uh, the person in this. So we'll just use uh, 8 pounds, 100 money, um, $7.25 an hour, and then P name for the name, for person name. So we created a new person and just used the constructor to uh, make the necessary um, changes to the variables that are in there. So we'll go ahead and run this and see what happens. It should work just the same as it did before. So we'll click new person and we will click, I mean, we won't click. I'll just type in Sam. Go ahead and click OK. You see we get the current ways, 8, money, income, and 7, uh, 725. We can work and make money. We can exercise and lose weight. We can eat to gain weight. Uh, we can increase the income. So everything's working perfectly fine. So now let's go in here and change some of these values so you can see uh, what changes are made. So let's have the person be born uh, at 150 pounds and we will give them $999 and we'll pay them $500 an hour. So we'll go ahead and run this and if we click new person we'll just leave it at John Doe and then click OK. And you can see John Doe weighs 150 pounds he has $999 and he makes $500 an hour. And we can just keep working this guy until he gets a whole bunch of money. And we can exercise to lose some weight. So that is a way to um, initialize values for objects whenever an, uh, that is created. And it will force the person to do that so that they will not forget it. And later on we're going to be talking about uh, overloading constructors and default constructors. So what I challenge you guys to do is take this person program and let the user enter the weight, the money, and the income whenever they create a new person 
and have it passed to this add person so that it will um, put the right values in there uh, that that the person specified when they click new person and if you do make that go ahead and leave that in a video response so that I can see you guys are learning from these tutorials and thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next tutorial